itch girl fragrances. You want to be that girl, you want to stand out, you want to wear something unique. I have a select few fragrances that are pretty unique and definitely more on the niche side of things. And I'm going to start with uh, one that I quite like, I think it's pretty unique. This is Instant Crush from Monsera. So this is a unisex fragrance, uh, pretty modern. It is primarily a warm, spicy fragrance mixed with a little bit of sweetness. Um, you know, has some rose notes, some saffron, some ginger, some musk, you know, all these different notes that come together and create a very unique product and it's very, very strong. I, I say it's a little bit similar to Baccarat Rouge 540, but far less sweet, but still with very similar projection and strength, which is always a bonus. And in general, it's a pretty distinguishable fragrance. There's not, besides Baccarat Rouge, there's not that many things that smell very similar to it. Um, and it's pretty versatile because as it kind of calms down on the skin after a few hours, it starts to evolve and become more interesting, more sophisticated and things like that. So it's definitely a good option if you want to really kind of separate yourself from the crowd and wear something a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet and very unique. Then, actually from the same brand, Monsera, going for Red Tobacco. So this is one of my favorite fragrances actually. This is, you can guess, it's tobacco fragrance, unisex. Also a little bit on the sweeter side, but not as much as Instant Crush. This is still more of a smoky, um, heavy sort of fragrance. But it's, it does have a pretty strong vanilla note, which is really, really nice. It's a warm vanilla with a touch of sweetness, but again, not too sweet. Still a really good unisex option. And the tobacco note is perfect. It is perfectly balanced. It's not like, you know, coughing on a big plume of smoke. It's just smooth. It's warm balanced, harmonious, uh, pretty much everything you could want from a tobacco scent, which is really nice. Also, really, really good longevity. It'll last all day, all evening, really easily. Um, so there's no real need to reapply it. You know, you just put it on and that's it. That's, that's it. Then, going for something a little bit lighter, if you prefer lighter fragrances, then I would say from Diptyque Fleur de Peau. Uh, this is a pretty nice, um, I always say it's a nice springtime scent because it's so uh, light and fresh and floral and green. Um, there's even a note of carrot in it, which is, you know, pretty unique, has that crispness that you would expect. Um, but this is definitely a dewy sort of um, clean and fresh fragrance. You can kind of imagine walking through a, a garden in the springtime, you know, just very fresh and uh, definitely more on the natural side of things. Um, and because it is lighter, longevity has to suffer a little bit because of that, but it's still pretty good. I would say about four hours longevity, um, and not too many people wear it because it isn't really mainstream. So when you do wear it, it does have pretty good projection. Um, you know, people around you will definitely be able to notice, and uh, you will definitely, you know, stand apart from the crowd wearing this. It, it's also, it's nice because it's not obnoxious. A lot of fragrances are too strong, too in your face. Trying, you know, trying to just show off, but uh, Fleur de Peau is just kind of subtle, very feminine, just simple and very effective. Then, if you have a specific preference for Iris, then I would say Zerjov Iris with three S's. So this is just a really, really good fragrance. Iris is one of my favorite notes, and it's just this is also kind of a springtime fragrance. Of course, you can wear it, you know, any time of the year, but it reminds you of spring when you wear it, you know, the flowers blossoming, the cool air, you know, that sort of thing. Kind of green, you know, floral, of course, with the iris notes. But despite, you know, a lot of floral fragrances are pretty standard, not too interesting, but this does it a bit in a bit more interesting way, has more character, more texture, more intrigue to it. Um, and from Zerjoff, it's an extremely, extremely well-made fragrance. You know, you don't have to worry about it being poor quality or not lasting long enough or smelling bad. It's just um, a nice, reliable iris fragrance. And again, longevity here is a little bit more on the moderate to light side just because it is a lighter fragrance overall. I would say longevity is four hours-ish, could be five, you know, um, but Despite the lower longevity, it still has good projection, 
people will notice it, and it's just a unique um, and very prominent form of an iris fragrance because there aren't that many iris fragrances out there, and it is a really nice note um, if you know you already know that you like that note. Then coming to one that is probably a little bit more popular, but still very distinguished, very unique. This is Initio Musk Therapy. So Musk Therapy. The downside, the primary downside that you will first get from this is that it is m m very expensive. Um, but I would say it's worth it because it does do a lot of things that most fragrances do not do. So Musk Therapy, it's a musk fragrance, but not your typical musk fragrance that you would expect because usually musk fragrances are very animalistic, very strong, very masculine even. Um, and not everyone is into that. Sometimes it's just a little bit too much, too just aggressive. But this does not do any of that. Um, Musk Therapy is much smoother. It's, I would say it's more of a, a white musk. Uh, it's very light, smooth. Um, it's also a little bit clean. I would say kind of like a clean laundry sort of approach to things. Um, definitely not animalistic. Like animalistic is the last descriptor you would use for this fragrance. Um, it, like I get, again, it, it's a clean sort of musk and very smooth and just a little bit warm, um, which makes it super unique in the realm of musk fragrances in general, um, especially if you like musk but you, you don't want to go overboard with it. You just want something a little bit more moderate, a little bit more subtle, and because of that, it's a very, very versatile fragrance. You could. I mean, you could pretty much wear this anytime, anywhere. You could wear this to go get the groceries, going to dinner, or, you know, you could wear this going to bed. It's just, you could wear it anytime, um, which is really nice. You know, it's always a nice bonus when a fragrance is extra versatile, because um, then you could just really, you know, use it to its full potential. Uh, and I would say it makes a pretty good unisex option as well. You know, it's kind of right in the middle of that male and female spectrum for fragrances. Uh, not longevity is not that great, unfortunately. That's kind of uh, one of its big downsides. I would say about four hours. Um, but again, it has such a nice smell to it, kind of a warm, cozy smell. At the same time, it's pretty elegant. Um, you know, so it, it kind of does everything you could want from a fragrance. You know, if you had just just using musk therapy, you kind of don't need anything else because it's all encompassing for the most part. But that is pretty much my list of uh, It Girl fragrances. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I make videos throughout the week, so don't forget about those.